So this is just a quick, a quick guide to your body type. Uh, there is an extensive questionnaire that you can, uh, you know, go in and um, take a look and, you know, uh, take the course if you're interested. So take your um, index finger and your thumb and then use it to overlap your wrist. Okay, so if your fingers overlap significantly, it's called you are the melancholic type. Okay, so it goes almost like this because this is the part, you know, this is the part where we are usually born with and we very rarely put on fat on this. So it's very easy to distinguish our body type, no matter how, you know, which stage of life we are in and how much weight, uh, you know, we have or have not put. So the next one is choleric. So if your fingers just overlap slightly, just a little bit, that means you are choleric. Okay, and then if your fingers touch exactly, you know, there's no overlap that if they're touching perfectly, then it is sanguine. And if your fingers don't meet at all, there's a significant gap, that means it's phlegmatic. Okay, so this is just a, you know, this is a very basic way to find your body type. Like I said, there is, you know, like the questionnaire has a lot more questions <laughs> that you can take a look at, okay? So inshallah, we'll start talking about the first body type, which is the sanguine. Uh, there is no equivalence of this in the Ayurveda and the traditional Chinese medicine because this body type is considered the natural state or the perfect state. And um, this is... Um, you know, it is hot and wet. That is, it's warm and moist, which is what the blood, you know, uh, and this constitutes the humor of blood. And um, this is considered, you know, the perfect body type. Um, and it's uh, the traits of a sanguine constitution are you have an oval face, you're neither too fat nor too thin, you have you have a medium frame and a build, you have, a, you know, a normal good appetite, you have a moderate balanced metabolism, you have a good digestion, uh, good element and you sweat moderately. Uh, however, what can happen is if you are not eating according to your body type, uh, you know, and you're eating excessive of fatty foods or sweets, it can definitely lead to an imbalance. And that's when, you know, different conditions may arise. For example, you know, you have a sluggish metabolism, high cholesterol, diabetes, gout, you know, so these can definitely occur if you're not eating according, you know, to uh, in a balanced manner. And uh, definitely just, you know, adjusting your diet again and hijama will help in excess uh, in alleviating those uh, diseases. So, you know, this, since this body type is warm and moist, which is also, coinc uh, you know, um, um, coinciding with summer, uh, sorry, with spring, you can have a lot of, uh, you know, like many of the, the, the regular fruits, the vegetables, dairy, grains, um, you know, most of the herbal teas like rose, fennel, mint are very, um, you know, uh, calming and healing. Um, they have a, like a standard, um, you know, the the regular digestion, so the standard American diet can definitely cause a lot of imbalance because it's very high in salt and fat. So the foods to avoid would be excessive consumption of meats, fatty foods, and sweets. The next body type is the choleric body type. Uh, this coincides to the yellow bile. So if you have, you know, that is the humor that is, uh, you know, the predominating humor in you, then you would be considered the choleric body type. Now this is the hot and dry. Uh, body type. And it is one of the most, you know, um, the, the most hottest of all the body types because it's dry and you can, you know, because it's um, off balance, there is no moistness, you definitely want to have, you know, foods that is going to uh, promote that. So the traits of a choleric constitution are you have a broad jaw, a sharp nose, high cheekbones, you have a very ravenous appetite, a fast metabolism. You know, a lot of people, they say, oh, you know, this person eats so much, but they never gain weight. So now you know that this is also influenced by these, uh, you know, the, the temperaments and or your body types, right? We all know someone who eats a lot, but never seems to gain weight. And we know someone who doesn't barely eats anything, but they gain weight so soon, right? So this is this is because of your body type. Uh, so they also have a very powerful digestion because they have a lot of heat in their body. And um, so, you know, that sometimes what happens is you're not able to absorb all the nutrients and uh, even your, uh, your stool tends to be a little loose and, uh, you know, you might have a lot of deficiencies sometimes. And you also sweat quite profusely. 
Uh, the following, uh, you know, if your body is out of balance, then you might have fevers because you're already hot. You might have high cholesterol, cardiovascular disorders, high blood pressure, headaches, infections, and anything that, you know, the foods that aggravated are the foods that are already heating in nature. So you like the, uh, the salty foods, the vinegar, uh, sour or fermented fruit, cheeses, all these kind of uh, aggravate this condition more. So um, inshallah, dietary adjustment will help where you can have more cooling foods and more, you know, uh, the foods that have a lot of water content in them. So zucchinis, cucumbers, lettuce, celery, uh, apples, oranges, all fruits, rice, barley, the chicken and eggs. You'll see that these are all cooling foods and this will help to calm down your body in case there is an imbalance. Um, and also they have, uh, you know, like any herbal teas such as mint, rose, chamomile tea, which is a very calming tea, are also very uh, helpful in this body type. Uh, the next body type is the melancholic. So this is the cold and dry body type. And in this, if you see, uh, this coincides to the Vata in Ayurvedic, and this is the black bile, this, or is called Sauda in Arabic. And this is, again, uh, you know, a body type that can cause, uh, you know, some health uh, conditions because it's cold and dry remember we want it to be warm and moist so you can see this is completely opposite to that right so it can you know cause issues so you have to be a little more careful regarding your health regarding your diet now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with this you know body type we cannot say that oh I wish I was born with this I was born with that you know, the, you know we are all you know blessed and tested with various things so if if you have a melancholic body type knowing this and then understanding it and eating according, you know, the foods ca that can bring it to the warm and moist will help you, inshallah. So if you know someone who has a melancholic body type, they usually have a rectangular face, very prominent cheekbones, and they tend to be very thin or lean, and they usually have a very poor appetite, right? And uh, they have a very, uh, you know, uh, erratic metabolism, so sometimes they'll be able to eat a lot, and then sometimes they have, you know, GI issues, they have irritable bowel syndrome, uh, they have constipation, they're usually people who have, you know, very uh, high emotions uh, and they are, have a scanty sweat as well. And if you see the most, most of their, um, you know, their conditions are because of the cold and dry nature. So they have a poor appetite. They have, you know, they might have anemia, um, depression, uh, arthritis, hypoglycemia. So this, these are the problems that do tend to plague them. And foods that aggravate it are old, dry, stale foods, beans, astringent foods, peanuts, rancid uh, fats and nightshades. So things like this tend to aggravate the condition. So you definitely want to have some warming and some moist foods such as, you know, steamed foods, sautéed foods, um, um, you know, grains, sourdough bread, soups, too. So these foods will help to bring it back in balance. So subhanAllah, we can see that, you know, there's so many different body types, but if we just tweak our diet a little bit to, um, you know, to ma make sure our body is... Um, is balanced, we can, you know, uh, do a lot to increase its health, inshallah. And the last one is the phlegmatic constitution. So this is uh, the balgam, you know, the, it, uh, it coincides with the phlegm uh, humor, that is the, the body fluid in our body, and it's kind of considered to be the most cold and wet. And um, this uh, body type has a round face, full cheeks, and awful, they have a dimpled chin, uh, they are well developed, they have, uh, you know, a slow, steady, appetite and they are usually have a slower metabolism so you'll see a lot of people say oh, I don't eat anything but you know they tend to be a little overweight this is because they have a phlegmatic constitution right. so um, you you'll see that they actually crave for more carbohydrates and more milk and more dairy products um, if, for example if I have to get you know like bread or any croissant she can just eat it plain you know and now I understand that okay it's her body type so I have a little more you know, uh, I have a more empathy with her because I know that it's not her wanting it, but it's her body type. So inshallah, you know, just knowing your body type will help you understand why do you crave certain fruits or why is your body type like this, right? Inshallah. 
And you'll see that a phlegmatic has, you know, more of, uh, you know, the uh, physical conditions that are associated with having a cold and wet body. For example, they may have more, uh, you know, water retention. When you have a cough, they, you, you develop a phlegm very easily. You, you know, you have slow digestion. So uh, you have constipation, you're hypothyroid, you tend to gain weight easily. So, uh, you know, and you get frequent colds as well. So this is because of your body type. And inshallah, if you have more, um, you know, warming and drying foods, it'll help you. For example, yogurt, kefir, which are, um, you know, fermented foods, the chicken, fish, organ meats, so having soups, all this will really help you, inshallah.